think about it. People are building their websites right now, their landing pages, et cetera. Right. And they go, why would the customer buy? And they name out benefit, 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 benefit. And I encourage everybody, here's a cheat code for you. If Let's once go. you're done writing, if you take a step back and go, will this make somebody laugh? Mm-hmm. And if the answer is no, rewrite it so it will. And I promise you, you will make more sales. Man. So silly. And, 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 let me, and let me go emotional, too. It's like, right. okay, hey, maybe your thing isn't being funny. Okay, will it make somebody tear up? Will it get somebody so excited that they physically want to move? Right. Like, it has to be. Yeah, yeah, you have to feel it. And if you don't, like, no one's going to buy. Right? Right. You're not going to run it. This is why most people's ads don't work. People, look, this is a good tip for everybody. Facebook ads, Facebook's only job is to put a message in front of somebody. Period. That's the only job. Their job's not to give you cash, et cetera. Mm -hmm. You are paying for the billboard space to put whatever message. Therefore, if your Facebook ads aren't working, it's because your message isn't working. Right. It sucks. We are in sunny San Diego, and you won't guess who we're interviewing today. The one and only one. Billy Jean is marketing. Man, this guy is phenomenal. You've probably already seen him on an ad somewhere, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. I don't care where it is. This guy's an amazing amazing instrument for advertising and marketing. So we're excited to get this segment to you and always make sure you tap in for the cheat code. Make sure y'all tap in, man, because listen, when it comes to making money in any business, any anything at all, you gotta have advertising, you gotta have marketing, branding, all that stuff. And this guy is the top dog in the space. Sure. I don't wanna hear anything about anybody else. Billy Jean's the guy, man, so make sure y'all tap in and, and catch the rest of these cheat codes, man. Let's go. Man, listen. We here. Billy Jean. Billy Jean, man. We are here with the big dog of marketing, man. The one and only Billy Jean is marketing. Is marketing. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. And we got him here on Cheat Code a lot for a very, very, very specific reason. Primarily because advertising and marketing is, you know, it moves mountains when it comes to business, entrepreneurship, and anything else in the game when it comes to money. And there's nobody better in the space than the guy sitting right here to my yeah, right, man. Appreciate Billy, man, I appreciate you coming thank, on, thank bro. Thank you for having me. For sure. First things for first, sure. like, yeah. they say no one's better, but I feel like I'm just beginning. Yeah. Where it's like, not even hype, man, like, a decade that. later, like, right. I, I'm embarrassed of who I was before. Right. Because of how arrogant I was. Mm. Really thinking that I could just figure it out by myself. You know how you'd be looking on the outside and you're like, right, right, man, right. that's not that hard. That's not Like, yeah. you know, you look at what LeBron does. Man, that's easy. Like, right. all you do is make a basket and a hoop. Like, right. business is so like that. And I was like that. Right. So, like, even as I hear, like, even now I'm like, oh, my God, there's so much I need to know. Da, 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 da. So, right. you know, but I appreciate the conversation. That's growth, too. man. That's yeah. growth. Man, I mm-hmm. used to say, like, I was telling him, when you said Billy Jean, like, you guys had initially got introduced, I was like, man, I used to see this guy everywhere, <laughs> man. Yeah. Literally everywhere. I'm talking yeah. Facebook, YouTube, well, that's Instagram. how That's how it's going to be for the rest of your life. Yeah, I'm going, I'm, my blueprint is simple. Stay hey, in front man. of everybody. That's what you I'm know? talking you about, man. You probably like, got YouTube, so many YouTube premiums. Just so you didn't have to see <laughs> literally. <laughs> one of, one of, I'm one talking to this nigga. I'm talking to this nigga. Let me upgrade. Guys. Let me upgrade. I can't. One of our production guys was like, yo, you're the one. Billy Jean's the guy that got me to sign up for YouTube Premium because I used to see this guy <laughs> so freaking Oh, it is facts. That's, yeah. that's the way it should be, though, man. When mm. I heard about that, I was like, man, I got to give this guy his accolades because I used to see you everywhere in the mm. game, man. And that's how you got to do it, though. I mean, like, that right is, there, bro, like, it's, yeah. it's literally getting, getting the message out there. That's the part of business. That's, that's business, man, right? right. Yeah. So, like, how did you come to the point where you were able to even... Because that's not something that everybody does. A lot of people run ads. Yeah. Not everybody runs ads like nope. you do, man. So, like, how yeah. did you get to that point of like even you know being able to do that man wanting to multiply myself like i advertise like usually when people come into business they don't advertise right 
Right. That's not the thing. It's hustle. Who do you know? Yeah, Send your friends, right. et cetera. But the challenge, I mean, the, one of my favorite quotes in business of all time is the mm-hmm. amount of money that you make is directly correlated with the amount of offers that you make. Mm. So, like, everybody gets so caught up on dollars, and I did right. too, especially in the beginning, right? Like, right. you know, I just wanted to be the you know, six-figure guy. Right. I wanted to be the seven-figure guy. Right. Well, you hear the song, eight-figure nigga. Eight that, figure, that, oh, eight shit, figure, okay, I got I to do all these things. Yeah, nah, that's But I'm right. like, I want to be like the 16-hour nigga. Yeah. Where I get to do whatever the fuck I want for 16 hours. Right. Yeah. While making the you know, you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah I don't think, I don't, there's not enough stress on like how you make your money versus just how much you make. Yeah, you know, and in the beginning, you got to build your foundation and do it all. But like, no, I'm very disciplined. Like, I'm not, no, I'm not about to go knock on doors at this point in my career. Facts. In the beginning, yeah. Yeah, that was the yeah, game. Right. So that's really my love for advertising is it's allowed me to scale without having to sell my time every time. Yeah, right. 100%. Yeah. That makes sense. No, man, advertising, I think, is, is I mean, that is the cheat code of business. I mean, mm-hmm. if at the end of the day, you know, like you said, you can't scale without being able to replicate the, your offer. And I think the most important thing that you said was, because sometimes we think about it, we're like, damn, man, you know, if our, if our numbers aren't aren't scaling this month, it's like, what right. happened? What's, what's wrong? Yeah. We didn't make enough offers. Right. Mm-hmm. right? We didn't make enough it's offers always, to, to enough yeah. people thousand percent. Just to scale, right? Yeah. And so, um, you know, so I guess and when it comes to that, when it comes to the, the ad space and the advertising game, like, you know, there's, everybody kind of knows, well, not everybody, but a lot of business owners, entrepreneurs know Facebook ads, Instagram ads, things yeah. like mm-hmm. that, right? Mm-hmm. It's pretty standard. But, you know, it, like when I see how you've been able to, to, um, to just take that and take it to another level, right? right? Like, what? How? Like, how is that? Like, what, was it just a lot of testing? A lot of like, because right. a lot of people yeah. are running ads, but not everybody. I'm not. I wasn't seeing everybody. Yeah, amongst everybody that was running ads, you're the it's one that just, I was seeing. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I'll be honest, right? Like when I yeah. when I came into the marketing game, it was dominated by you know. 40 year old digital marketing game was dominated right, right, by 40, right, right. 40 to 60 year old white dudes. Right, right, right. Some the wrong white dudes, but they were boring as fuck. Like, right, tradi- fact, traditionally. Entertainment. Right? Part, so, yeah, like, yeah. the entertainment and yeah, social media exactly. is an entertainment platform. Yeah, so, like, yes, people yeah, yeah. come to social media are so scientific. Well, if yeah. I click this button, calculate this, shut yeah, the yeah. fuck up. Nah, just it's just make somebody laugh yeah, and then ask it. them if they want to buy your shit. Now, nah, that's yeah. a fact. That's why you used to look through your ads. Yeah. That's the big secret is make somebody laugh, smile, teach them something new where they go, okay. And then ask them if they want to buy while you have the attention. Like, yeah, that is, that is all I do. And so yeah. I think the way that I broke through is, you know, one out of desperation, right? I was at my mm-hmm. parents' house. Like, I needed to make right, some right. move. That so a lot, yeah. a lot of people won't put themselves out there because they're so fearful of what people think, right. et cetera. And, and it is hard, right? Because if you yeah. put something out there, people will clown you. Yeah. Facts. People will Facts. go after you. Yeah, and so, you, you know, but like when you need cash, you don't care what anybody says. Like, I'm going to do whatever the yeah. fuck I got to do yeah, to like, because I need money. So, I, you know, I wasn't worried about it. So I was brave involuntarily, but then when I started to see the feedback, I went all in on it. And you're just a funny you know. motherfucker all the way around. <laughs> you're, like, you're one of the funniest people. Like, it's, yeah, dude, I, and, I, and I've only been following, like, on, on Instagram, I've only been following you for so long. Yeah. And when I look through, like, the stuff that you post, bro, like, I literally find myself just, like, <laughs> go, going from, like, chuckle to, like, rolling on the floor, like, yo, look at this one. <laughs> what the fuck this guy said? Like, yo. Just the funniest. I mean, you level. you get a lot of points online for saying what everybody's thinking, yeah. right? You know what I mean? Like, like I'll put something in it. The reason why it's funny is because you were thinking the same shit. You right. were thinking the same shit, That's but nobody would say it. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody would say it, you know, right. because they think there's going to be some consequence or repercussion. Uh-huh. But what people don't realize is the consequence is success. Fact. Like you're so afraid of like What's what happens if I say this? Yeah. It's always you bring in customers, like you know. Yeah. So once I realized that, you know, fast forward a decade later, now I just you know follow the formula. And were you have you always been funny like that, man? Was it I've been, like, high, I was high school, I, I, high school college. Yeah, I was really? I was I was class clown type, yeah, no yeah, doubt. Yeah, like nah. always clowning, See, playing sports, that, like that's out there. Your strengths. Yeah, man. I was social chairman of fraternity. I was doing videos in college. Like I remember um, in college, everybody yeah. had to do a PowerPoint presentation, and PowerPoint right, right, was right, the right. jam. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, nah. teacher, this shit's just so boring. Yeah. I was like, is it okay if I just do a video? Yeah. And then, of course, like, I got obsessed. Like, when I'm doing this video, I started to fall in love with the story and the writing and the shots right, right, and the right. laughter. And then I would play my presentation in front of everybody, and I would see I would always kill it when it came to pre- presenting because it was so different, and it made everybody enjoy it. They were right. obsessed. And I just learned that from college, like, just not doing a PowerPoint. One, two, I felt like PowerPoint was harder. Yeah, so a lot of it yeah, was just exactly. like a video. Yeah. Video sounds easier to me, Doc. So yeah. if I can save some time yeah, and not want to do the bullshit, do what you got to do. Yeah, and yeah. then I and then I kind of fell in love with it and stuck with it.
put it. Yeah, That's what's up. It's, it's definitely, you can clearly yeah. see it from the uh-huh. and, and, and Let me spark on that too, like a little bit. So, and the reason why I tripled down on it, I'll never forget this, is I was right. living at my buddy's house uh-huh. trying to figure out this business thing. Mm-hmm. And there was like this random ass Mark Cuban ad or book oh, that man. was like, hey, buy my booklet for like, it was something super cheap. Right, 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 right. But like, it wasn't cheap to me. It was like $16. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, wait, I got that. 17 Let me check the account. Yeah, Hold right. up. Let me see. And I'm reading this thing, and I don't know why it stood out to me, but he said, um, you know you found the thing you love when you look up at the clock and you didn't realize how much time passed? Right, something, right, 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 something not that profound, but it right. hit me because at the time, I was up because I was editing videos. Oh, man. And I said... Yeah. That is virtually the only task I do in business right. where I will get lost. So you tell my team now, you know, we're, and we're all passionate about it. Like, yeah. we'll, we'll shoot at one in the morning if, it, if that's what it calls for. Right. Because you don't, you don't think about time anymore. You're right. thinking about the Just peace, about the peace. work. Yeah. And once I identified that about myself and became safe aware of like, oh, that's my thing. Mm-hmm. For some people, it's writing. You see people right. writing and posting all the day. For some people, it's on social media, like posting all the time. Right. I fucking hate posting. Yes. Right. You know, I don't, yep. I don't post very much at all. Yeah. So people are like, how are you the social media guy when you don't post? Because I advertise. Yeah. Advertise. Advertising makes a post live forever versus one time. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, everybody want to organically post. Mm-hmm. Cool. You get your engagements, your likes, etc. And now right. three hours later, you got to be creative again. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, no, I'm going to make a hit yeah. video and then yeah. I'm going to show it to different people. There's two ways to be new. Right. right. New is by doing something new or by showing it to new people. New people. Yeah. I'm going to show it to new people all day long and let the yeah. motherfucker run. Yeah. That's so. that's the that's the cheat code right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah for that's, sure. That's, that's sure. definitely a cheat code right there. Yeah. Nah, because we had this conversation where it was like, oh man, like you see these big Fortune 500 companies that have massive success yeah. and you don't see them on ads all the yeah. time or you don't even see them posting actually on their social media. You'll see them on posting, social, you see the but ad. You see the ad. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, you see yeah the either ad. it's on TV or on Super Bowl or yeah. like, you know, just YouTube or something yeah. like we'll that. Yeah, we take Walmart, social, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah Walmart will yep. spend like, um, they'll generate like half a trillion dollars a yep. year or something stupid. Yep. But then they will also spend about four to five billion dollars in advertising. In advertising. Yeah. And it's like, I call it the hidden in plain sight secret. Right. You know, you guys talk about stocks, et cetera. Yeah. Guys, like, these companies are public. You can see where they spend their money. Exactly. And you will see a big ass line item that says advertising, marketing. It, it, yeah. Every time. But yet, still small businesses, we go, yeah. what should I do? Let's go make some Success more. leaves clues. Yeah, 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 Follow yeah. the motherfuckers that yeah, are balling. Yeah, 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 I'm a, I'm a copy. I'm They're looking really to cheat. I'm trying to cheat. Like, I'm what trying are, to cheat. What are you doing on your paper? Yeah. You really hitting on something, man, because it's like, you know, right now, the thing is, small businesses are so caught up in, like, trying to make the best reels and, and the yeah, coolest yeah. reels, and everybody's fighting for people's attention through reels and TikToks and things like that, right? And it's great, and it's cool. You can definitely go viral, but if you really think about it, it's like, what you're trying to do by going viral is to reach this massive audience of, let's say, a million people plus, right. and, uh, you know, without spending any money, right? Mm-hmm. But the thing is, if you advertise, like, you've, you've I think, you, I don't even remember the statistic, but you just fucking goddamn, like, 200 uh, six, million. No, 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 our ads have been seen a billion times now. Seen oh, a man. billion yeah, times. It's crazy. it's crazy. Your ads it's have been seen crazy. a billion times. Mm. For me to get a, a reel or a TikTok to go viral enough for a billion, billion? people to see it. Yeah. That's, that's. It's like. It's well, not, not to mention though, I, I think. Yeah. Well, I think there's other another aspect to that is when I say our ads have been seen a billion times. Mm-hmm. Two specifically people who are interested in entrepreneurship, right. which allows me to dominate the industry. Market, See, people yeah. go viral, they get crazy views, but it's truly it's, everybody. Yeah, so when you yeah, try and market be, or sell kids something, can be your stuff. There's the people. Yes, there's, there's a difference between stuff. following and fans, right. and I think people get confused on that. And right. so for me, I'm like, like outside of entrepreneur world, people mm-hmm. nobody knows who the fuck I am. Like it's there, right. but if I go any to any conference or anybody. Every fucking Uber I get into, yeah. they'll know who I am. Right. Oh, you're the because it's this little lane, right? right? But I go deep in that little lane. Right. Pause. You own that. Yeah. It's also it's also why it's also why like if you, if you ever try to like hire influencers, right? You would think like, all right, if I get this big fancy influencer who's got a bajillion different, you know, uh, and I just get one percent, one, one pose, yeah. and then you try to, and, and you get no conversion, you get very little conversion. It's like not you know, it's target. not in the target audience, yeah. it's not target niche, man. Yeah. So I mean, that's definitely a great point. Yeah, so, I think I think to even dive in is the right. people who are doing the reels, etc. Right. The challenge is, is like you can get one thing that pops off that right. makes your business explode. Right. The uh, missed opportunity is not replaying that video again. Right. Right. I think we talked about that a little bit. I was like, okay, you you guys, you guys is on your leisure thing. Go crazy. Right. And I'm like, why are you not running ads to the episode every day? 
Every day. Yeah. Every day, right? Yeah. Like, so that's what happened with me with like uh, yeah. uh, this guy at my lab. At my lab's a dope entrepreneur, kills it. Our interview was like the highest received piece of content I've ever put out. Oh, DMs man. crazy from all kinds of people. I'm like, this is wild. So you know what we did? That motherfucker's still an ad. People still watching me at my lab. Like, it's just brand new. That was years ago, man. you know? Yeah, but I'm gonna make it nah. last forever. They'll probably see it a decade from now, too, Facts. if it's relevant. Yeah, you know? nah, because it's revenue so, generating, man. Exactly. Shoot, one thing we're talking about was um, your biggest your biggest loss. Right? You're talking about, about, about the loss? Yeah. Yo, man. my fault, y'all. I got this burritos. This me up right now. No, oh, I, gotta, I, <laughs> shit. I gotta get about it. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta go. Nah, we need this on the. Wait, Paul, can you show me where the bathroom is? All right, man, look. Okay. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. back. You got him back. Listen, y'all, if y'all ever been to San Diego or just the West Coast, man, all man. these guys got out here burritos and tacos. <laughs> it's over and over and over. It's not my, it's not my steeds, man. This guy's system was shocked. It is shocked, dude. <laughs> um, but, man. And I think they snuck some cheese in that last one, too, man. Nah, I don't know. You might have gotten that draw. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all right. They try to get us to put hot Cheetos in a burrito. Nah, that's not, no, that's yeah, not. Yeah, that's not. Don't put that yeah, on San yeah. Diego. Hey, look, don't put my city out there like that. Yeah. That's what they that's what they did, man. That's what they did. All right, man, but look, so this is the thing. One thing I know about from what I've seen, what I've, what I've watched on your social, not just your social media, mm -hmm. but your advertising and, and things like that, right. you have some of the most creative fucking campaigns. $25,000 to the girl who lets me shave her head. Yeah. <laughs> sit down, sit down. Right now I'm headed to the office to tell them I can't afford to pay them anymore, but guess what? They probably already knew that. Cause they saw you post it. Because of what I posted, well, let me ask you, Billy, is it my fault or yours? I, I mean, this guy literally sold like well, I don't know, you know, nothing. like two hundred thousand dollars worth of nothing. No. It, was, it was like sixty grand. We sold sixty, 60 grand, grand of nothing. Sixty grand of, of, of a box of nothing. Was it a box of nothing or just a jar of nothing? Or what? you can send a box of nothing to somebody for the holidays. So you know, everybody knows that motherfucker who's like, "Hey, what do you want for Christmas?" And like, honestly, dude, nothing. I don't want nothing. Okay, I'm gonna get you nothing for real. So we allowed people to go to our website, oh, thenothingdepot.com, still available, <laughs> and you can just go ahead and buy and ship a box of nothing to your favorite people to show them you love them. Yeah. Oh man, a, that's, that's freaking like, hilarious. And we did sixty grand of it, y'all. So like, this is it. Thousand. That's yeah. enough. You can live well off. Yes. Two years off of sixty grand. Really. The whole, the the whole business is set up too. Like it was more like I, I did it just to demonstrate to people like you can make a business doing anything. anything. And I think a lot of people get so logical when they try and sell their products right. or services. Right. But like again. People will literally buy nothing because it makes them smile. Yeah. Right. And then people actually have valuable products or services, and we get in our own heads of, is it worth it? Should I yeah. be charging this? It's yeah. like people buy nothing. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you can charge it because some, charge some people are buying yeah. nothing. But so here's my question though: Are they see like what I, from what I from what I gather, right? Mm -hmm. You know, I've been you know entrepreneur for probably about nine nine years now, going yeah. on nine years, and what I realize is. There's always something that people are like. People are buying for a particular, for an emotional reason most of the time, mm -hmm. right? You know, you can try to compete on like trying to make the most sense and being like, yeah, my product is best because all these different technical reasons, and that might work for some specific type of audience, right? Yeah. But for the most part, people are typically buying based off of some type of emotion. Right. And so when you did this, when you when you pulled off this like this nothing, you know, um, okay. campaign or business, <laughs> right? Like, what was the my 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 thought process here being that it's a fun project, a funny a funny yeah, thing yeah, yeah. That, that was probably had the, to be a really well written or there's yeah, a lot of comedy that went into it or video that's production. That's all it is, right? Like even on like our one click upsell, like we sold a real product and you could for nine ninety five buy nothing, and that one was a digital version. You can just get nothing. Like hey, oh check this box and be charged. <laughs> this is this is real. This is how it started. I swear, we did six grand in bump sales of nothing. Hey, for oh, nine ninety five, would you like to add absolutely nothing to your order? Please do not mistake this with something. This is nothing. When you open up your email, you will receive confirmation that you purchased nothing. No. And I like just go oh, on and on God. and on. Yeah, we did six grand just in people. 
people buying that, right? <laughs> like, I mean, but the, the win for them is the receipt. It's the getting the email for confirmation. Like, I see people sharing that that you got yeah. nothing, and like just the experience. Yeah. People will yeah. do anything yeah. for, for an, experience. an experience, you know. And so, yeah, we you know we're still in the nothing business. There'll probably always be a side hustle that yeah. I make. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah, so it's like you can make people laugh or or, or cry or whatever it's worth. Yes. Type of well, I mean, like think center. about it. People are building their websites right now, their landing pages, etc. Right. And they go, why would the customer buy? And they name out benefit, 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 benefit. Mm-hmm. And I encourage everybody. Here's a cheat code for you. If Let's once go. you're done writing, if you take a step back and go, will this make somebody laugh? Mm-hmm. And if the answer is no, rewrite it so it will, and I promise you, you will make more sales. Mm. Man. So silly. And, and, and let me and yeah. let me go emotional too. It's like, right. okay, hey, maybe your thing isn't being funny. Okay, will it make somebody tear up? Mm. Will it yeah. get somebody so excited that they physically want to move? Right. Like it has to Ethos. be. Yeah. yeah, you have yeah. to feel it. And if you don't, like no one's going to buy. Mm-hmm. Right. You're not going to run it. This is why most right. people's ads don't work. People right. look. This is a good tip for everybody. Man. Facebook ads, Facebook's only job is to put a message in front of somebody. Mm-hmm. Period. That's their only job. Their job's not to give you cash, et cetera. Mm-hmm. You are paying for the billboard space right. to put whatever message. Therefore, if your Facebook ads aren't working, it's because your message isn't working. Mm-hmm. Right. It sucks. That's it. That's the only thing. That's the only game. And once people realize that right. and realize it's not this technical blah, 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 mm-hmm. that's when they can start playing the game for real and win. Yeah. Nah, that's so, it. So the, the that's biggest, the biggest, the biggest, like, part of it, Facebook ads or, or ads in general is, yes. like, really the creative then. I mean, it's like, it's the pre-production, it's the creative, not the technical. 100%. You know, so it's it's like, the biggest yeah. thing I teach, like, with our certification. I'm like, look. Everyone thinks that Facebook is this big technical monster. Mm -hmm. So many people don't do it because they're afraid of the tech. What do I press? And I'm like, yo, that's like 3% of it. Mm, It's all here. It's all here on what you say. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why, you know, companies hire me and I come into their business. They think I'm going to come up with some ninja shit. And I'm just like, take out a blank piece of paper. Let's get started. Yo, listen. If you want to learn about stocks and crypto and Forex and futures, man, make sure y'all tap the link in the description below, man. We got free classes all day, every day. I got to get you this information. Man. I don't even oh, care no, if I get hit by no cars. I don't even care if I get hit by no cars, man. I got to get y'all this information. This is life or death. Free class. Link in the bio, man. Link in the description below. Listen, get back to y'all's episode, man. I'm going to see y'all later. See you in the free class. Just give me the cheat code. Let me ask you this, um, because I'm I'm struggling with this right now. Matter of yeah. fact, we've been we've been. I mean, we're getting better. You know what I'm saying? Right. For anybody out there, y'all may have seen a couple of our ads out there. We not nowhere near a billion impressions. Yeah. We've seen cheat codes. Yeah. You might have seen yeah. a couple little funny. We've been doing, trying out some funny skits and stuff Love like it, that yeah, and sure. all that type of stuff. But like you know, the pre-production is is. I mean, it's it's that whole th- process. Yeah. It's a creative process. And for people who aren't used to being creative, it's, it's a learning curve, mm-hmm. right? What do you, see, like, what would be your, you know, let's say top three tips or steps to, like, somebody yeah. going from being, like, not creative, not funny, to actually being able to produce on a consistent basis? Yeah, I, 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 I would say the, the word, like, for you guys in particular, the word is curiosity. Mm-hmm. Curiosity is what makes anybody watch an ad, meaning you're watching it and you have to figure out what happens next. Just think of right. your favorite Netflix show, right. right? You go to episode two because, because you're like, wait, are they still done. together? Okay, right. did they break up? Oh, right. da, da, is he going to die? Is he alive? What happened? Well, who killed him? Da, 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 da. The, second, the second you stop wondering, mm-hmm. usually season finales, mm-hmm. you're okay with waiting for a while. Mm-hmm. Right. The second you stop wondering. Same goes with your ad, except you have this condensed machine that you're working with, right? It's a two to three minute process. Mm -hmm. So every fucking second matters. Curiosity, curiosity. And I always look for like innate and like organic curiosity. For example, a trade might be the most adrenaline fucking pumped moment ever. thousand percent. I want to be on the edge of my seat. I want like, you know, talk to the common person of like, okay, hey, I'm going to put a thousand bucks. I'm about to put it in the stocks. Let's see what happens. Right. Already, I'm like, I can't click away because I'm yeah. like, hold on a second, a thousand bucks, and then showing it in real time. It. Oh, it went down it. and da 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 an hour. Is yeah, he gonna happened? do it? He ain't yeah. shit. No, there's no way they can make this happen. Da 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 da. Like the pure curiosity, yeah. learning how to condense that up in yeah. 60 seconds and like watch this trade. Yeah. Or fucking the stupid TikTok voice, like, watch this trade. Like the little yeah, girl yeah, voice, yeah, whatever yeah, they yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. seeing the demonstration. So many people want to tell you the end result and where they were. Nah. Hi, my name's Bill. I didn't have anything, and now I'm great. No one gives a fuck. We want to care about the middle. The yeah. demonstration, yeah. what happened? How did you go from A to Z? It's why shows like The Biggest Loser got popping, right? Right, Because it wasn't just like a, 
it, you get to see the journey, show the fucking journey. Right. And so this is a note for everybody. When you feel like uh, you don't have good content to show because you're not there yet. Right. People would rather see the struggle. You guys ever seen drama go crazy on social media? People love yeah. L's. Yeah. People love L's. You can't stop watching L's. Right. You know, Kanye does something That's great. Right. It's like, oh my God, if it's yeah. L. Yeah, yeah, it's all the this, this, this shit. Yeah. So like, yeah. show them L's. Yeah. Right? And I actually ask everybody to consider this, right? I want you to count right now. How many wins have you shared on your social? Mm. New relationship, new whip, new me, who this? All that jazz. Okay, how many L's yeah. have you shown? Mm. True. I post one of your L's genuinely, right. not like a humble L, like, you no, know, I'm just too no. perfectly, like a true L. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, your engagement will go crazy. Right. Your trust will go crazy. $30,000. Oh shit, it'll be nuts, yeah. right? It'll be nuts. Yeah, L's. Yeah. So share the L's like the W. L's, we got L's for days. Yeah. 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 Also, it makes someone trust you, right? Like, the only Fast. reason why people buy or don't buy online is because they believe you or they don't. Yep. Nobody believes the person who only says they win. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's a fact. That's a fact. We'll, we'll never believe human. it. It's, yeah, it's like, like human. It's yeah, if crazy. anyone saw us, yeah. It's crazy because like that's what social media has really turned into a lot of yes. times. It's really just like, you know, constantly pushing out the positive, the positive, the positive, and very rarely that's showing that's the back of, of, of everything. That's also what makes it an opportunity to win with losses because you're doing the opposite. I spend right. most of my time saying, what's everyone doing? Great. Fuck all. I'm going to go do my own thing. Yeah. Right. So now, what's been your biggest loss? Yeah, oh, that's what, that's what like. you gonna say? Yeah. Oh, you said that. What's 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 your biggest loss? You already said it, man. Let the man. I, the I mean, I, I was gonna say, yeah, I lose yeah, all of the time. I, yeah. I think one of the biggest ones that I made in the beginning mm-hmm. that like still hurts my soul today because it came from that place of arrogance that I mentioned earlier was when I first got into this online class world. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, I was working at this school, Ashford University, fucking dialing people, trying to enroll them in the school, and I was right, like. Right. I could figure out this online stuff. And right. I hired this girl to do these cooking classes. And I hired this guy who like had these online quit smoking classes, whatever. Mm-hmm. So I just needed to find a tech person mm-hmm. to help me create an online portal. And I knew nothing about it. Yeah. But Eric he was like, right. whatever, I'll figure this out. This shit looks easy. It's nothing yeah. but a bunch of PDFs, et cetera. <laughs> Long story short, I ended up borrowing money from a homie who got money from his mom selling his house something. And I'm like, yeah. yo, this is the big vision. I end up spending like 38,500 bucks of the 50 grand on this website to be able to host online courses. Yeah. So the process took forever. It did end up looking great and it was yeah, sick. Yeah. It was all those things. About yeah. a year later, I'm reading and I realized the software that I was using to build the platform is fucking free. All oh. of the money that I spent was just for them to customize it which should have been nowhere near 38,000 bucks. Now again, Yikes. one consultant, one hiring someone who's part of this space goes, Billy, are you fucking crazy here? Use this, da 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 yeah. My arrogance, no, oh, let me just figure this out. Look how big and bad I am. Yeah, I don't need yeah, any help. Yeah. Cost me fucking 40,000 bucks. Yeah. I call that a true L because as much as, like the lesson is I get to share this lesson with y'all yeah. and like that's the win right. I would Ray rather not share that lesson with you keep my 40 fucking G's right. <laughs> like, that's an especially L right? I'm glad you're sure yeah. especially during exactly. those times that it's not today yes so much oh my, it was, oh my well, god dude, I didn't have any more money to invest into the business right I used it all on that and a couple Man. other things that it was just yeah. ignorance just pure yeah. fucking yeah, yeah. ignorance opportunity cost so man. but mistakes like that all the time and so yeah. now it's like I pay for help. Like my biggest sheet right. code that I can give anyone listening is I pay for help. Man. Like I'm I'm crazy paying. When I say pay, in the beginning, I buy books or courses because that's what I could afford. Mm-hmm. Now I fucking hire the author. Right. Yeah. Right. Real simple. Yeah. Like, oh, who wrote the book? book? Yeah. Okay. What's their consulting? Yeah. Right, I'm a, yeah. Let's go. Let's talk. The best in this field. Exactly. Let's put Get me on the phone with them right now. Yes. Not, no, no, I'm not, I don't have time to waste. Yeah, people like people are like you, you. You start the more money you make, you value time more than anything. Yep. And you you realize how much money you lose by trying to look for something and figure it out. It's clown yeah. shit. No yeah. no real ones do that. That's yeah. that's a fool's game. Yeah, that's a fact, man. You got no. definitely get pay for access, proximity, help, 100%. all that stuff. I mean, yeah. money is a tool. To Network. Yeah. Somebody who knows somebody that can put you. Pretty much all your weaknesses got to be covered by somebody else who's an expert. Yeah. Yeah. As a matter of fact, we, I mean, I'm even meeting you. Like, this whole yeah. thing was literally because I paid. I was yeah. trying to get business credit. Shout out to him, 500, man. Yeah. The big dog yeah. in the business yeah. credit space. Yeah. I'm, like, trying to figure out the business credit thing and doing all that type of stuff. I'm like, you know what? Fuck this shit. I'm out of this. I'm out of this. <laughs> I'm like, yo, man, how much is this program? Because every time I call Marcus, man, he's like, you know, hey, I barely get 
I'm like, like look, yo, let me make this shit. Yeah. 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 yeah, I'm like, dude. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, he's like, yo, I'm like, look, let me just go and pay for this, this mind, mastermind, mastermind meetup yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Go to the event at Rick Ross's house, dope event. Yeah. yeah. You were there, you know yeah. what I mean? That kind of what led to this in the whole in the first place, man. Yeah, so that's I mean, a perfect you know, example, man. Yeah, just perfect example, you, like yeah. sometimes. If you don't take that I'll, priority, you would have spent. Yes. We're gonna spend like forty G's, just like you, like you know, what yeah. I'm trying to figure out ours. And then the whole time we could have just, you know, been able to get in right conversations with somebody. Yeah, the next person in that space, boom, they just turn on. They're like, oh, this tweak will get you there. Boom, I'll, t- I'll tell like you a quick that. story yeah. how I like ended up meeting so many people in this space. Right, is um, I was listening to a YouTube talk one time, and Kevin O'Leary from Shark Tank. Right, like somebody asked him in the audience, like someone coming up, which I could relate to at the time, right. and he's like, hey, what's the tip to meeting people who are successful? Mm. And he gets up to the microphone, and you know, he'd be talking shit, mm-hmm. and he goes. You pay them. Yeah. yeah. And I remember in that moment, I was so furious. Because yeah. I'm like, but what if you can't pay yeah. them? Yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. And then I thought about it. Get a fucking job. Yeah. Facts. And save your money. Save your you money. You can. Like, get a job like Uber. Yeah. Order. Yeah. Like, you can yeah. yep. do it. To, and no one's willing to do that. Yep. But I started to invest in the people. I remember this was probably five years ago now. Mm-hmm. Five, six, four years ago, something. And this office, this was remodeled and it looked completely different. Right. But um, Grant Cardone was coming to town. This is when Snapchat was popping at the time. Oh, man. So... I hit him up and I was like, oh, hey, you're coming into town to speak at this event. My office is right down the street. Mm-hmm. Do you want to come in for an interview? Right. And at the time, he's like, ah, I don't know. Like, who are you? Right. right like, right, da, da, da. Right. We didn't know each other at the time. And so I said, wait, you're actually buddies with this guy, Frank Kern. Frank Kern is a guy who taught me digital marketing. Mm-hmm. And I just paid 18 grand to go to a mastermind in his house with six people. Right. So we got to know each other. Right. So when he hit me, I was like, hey, who is this? I checked with Frank and I was like, oh, ask Frank. Frank gave the green light on me, which then had Grant end up coming in. Automatic, yeah. Right? But again, if I didn't have the nod from Frank, it would have never happened. But then it was just a chain reaction from there. Right? right? Like, you don't continue to pay, but to get your foot in the door, you do. So, got connected with Frank, who got me connected with Grant, who got me with Kevin Ah, Harrington, and all the da-da-da, and every... Yeah, it was a chain reaction. The so next thing you know, to you, and yeah. you're connected to Grant. Right. Now, now <laughs> Grant is going to yeah. be the next episode. Cheat code unlocked. We need you on a cheat code unlocked episode. But that, that's the, yeah, that was the process. Billy's and then giving us the nod. <laughs> yeah, you see, it? Yeah. you just show me the money. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, show me the money. <laughs> but like, what's your mastermind together? We yeah. got the room. <laughs> same, same. Yeah. So it was kind of the same. It is, it is the same process. Nah, and then that funny, led to yeah. like Damon John. Right. We got yeah. close. And then nah, once you, then there's a tipping point. Mm-hmm. Then it was just like, if you have something worth trade, you can always get in the room with everybody. Right. Like, the big secret with meeting influencers, et cetera, right. is to have, to be valuable, but mm-hmm. the specifics of valuable is usually they want eyeballs. Yeah. Right? Like, true. so, like, you that's see, true. like, there's this podcast called Full Send. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. it's just these these guys who yeah. used to make clowning videos, but they literally had fucking President Trump. Yeah. They had uh, everybody. I mean, so many, Antonio yeah. Brown, right? When his thing right, first, right, right, right. like, was hype. Yep, and it's like, and, and people are like, to, people, actually, yeah. yes, and people are like, I don't understand. Why are these big people going to them? Because they have, have the fucking eyeballs. eyeballs. That's a fact. Yeah. It's everybody a trace. To like seen. everybody's, it's like people are like, how do I get people to spend them, speak in my event? Sell a lot of fucking tickets. Facts. People always think it backwards. Like, oh, okay, let me hire this person yeah. to then get their tickets, et cetera. Have the fucking audience and you can do whatever you want. Oh, the exactly. audience wins. This is why I advertise so much. Because right. I know I got 1.2 million people on my email list. Right. When somebody wants to promote a book in the entrepreneur space, I can get you anybody exactly. here that I want to. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. it's one, That's now exactly. I got the nods from so many other people. But right. two, I have reach. Yeah. yeah. Every reach. It's just, it's a trade. Is just, Everything is a fucking yeah. trade. Why yeah. would somebody want to come to your thing, be on your show? Da, yeah. da, da, da. It's a fucking trade. Yeah, man. Oh, man. That's a cheat mm-hmm. code right there, man. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not just about the financial markets. No. It's literally about having something to exchange with mm-hmm. somebody that's of value. And remember, or more value. Money does run out for. because when you yeah. get to a certain level and there's people that you want, money's not the thing anymore because right. they have money. Right. Yeah. And it's the same goes with hiring and scaling an organization. Is like right. you get to a point where you can't just hire someone based on money because a truly talented person can get money anywhere. anywhere. Right. So you have to sell them on vision and yeah. a lot of other things. So right. without getting too derailed. Man, yeah. nah, that's high level, man. That's, yeah. that's amazing. All right, so so I want to kind of circle back real quick on on the, the attention part because yeah. I think that's that's very really critical, right? Yeah. So as you start to scale, I mean, everybody starts off and di- everybody starts on a different places. But let's just yeah. so most people start off from let's say ground zero, right? Yeah, right. You've got a small business and you're trying to become a big business, and you're listening to what we're talking about here, and you're like, look, 
all right, I've been spending all this time on reels and social and stuff mm -hmm. like that, and I hear these guys talking. Right. I need to get my ad game up, right? How, what's the process? What What is the, how do they get from point A to point B of yeah. being able to kind of just grow that massive audience? Yeah. Is it just consistently I, running ads or is it consistently like- I'll, right, give, I'll give a couple, because a lot of people think it's an expensive process. So right. like we talked about L's earlier and I gave yeah. you an example of something that was not ad related, but I'll give you ad related. Mm -hmm. the, the truth is, is I never have lost a lot of money on ads. Mm -hmm. And the reason is because if it doesn't work, I just turn it off. Right. And that is why, to me, it's the most appealing aspect ever in business Control. is I can spend a hundred bucks. And if I don't see traction or momentum, just, I just make a fucking ad again. Right. You don't miss a sell. Who gives Man. a fuck? Do it yeah. again. My ad lose a little bit of money. I'm just going to make another one. Like I'm like and I'm like sitting here looking like, is anyone else going to figure this out? Right. You can't lose in the sport because you just try I again. Yeah. So you only fail if you quit. Right. right. So yeah, going so back to happy. like uh, the ads of what's the best way to do it is one, start with a small budget, right? It's mm -hmm. like you can have wins in advertising just like you can have wins in the stock game where mm -hmm. if you put a hundred bucks, maybe you can make, you know, 300. But if that was a hundred grand, then you would have made, you know, 300 grand, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Same with ads. I say everybody start off spending five bucks a day. And mm -hmm. the simplest campaign that I can give everyone is there's a targeting feature within Facebook that allows you to advertise to people based on them having an upcoming birthday. So anybody who is has an upcoming birthday right. there, and you can choose their age too. Right. So, you know, let's say you're in the insurance business. Hey, happy 40th birthday. Instead of blowing it like you did in your 30s and 20s on stupid stuff, how about do something that's going to pay you forever, like a 401k, an insurance plan, right. a retirement, da, da, da. If you own a fucking restaurant, hey, happy 21st birthday. First drinks on me. Next page, how many people are you coming in with? Now you have an entire fucking group that's oh, coming in with you, right. right? Like, I mean, you guys, with the stock stuff, it's like, hey, you know, uh, happy 30th birthday. Didn't you think you were going to be a lot further along by now? Right. Ready to learn a skill set that actually matters? Like, see how the message matters. Right. But, like, you guys, what I'm telling you, these are things that you can shoot with your cell phone right now. Mm -hmm. Spend 5 to $10 a day. Everybody can afford that. If right. not, drive Uber, use the money, you know, right. whatever the fuck you got to do. Hustle. 5 to 10 yeah. bucks a day. Put that message out there and then put your phone number and say, call me. Mm. Like, and sell whatever it is. You know what yeah. I mean? And, and then the other side of it is this is why I'm so excited about marketing as a fucking career. Right. Is because every business needs you forever. Needs forever. Like, I'm like, y'all, like, this is why I sleep good. It's not because my business is invincible. Like, we have great months and we have down months just like every right. other business. Right. But at the end of the day, I know if everything goes to shit, there's a gazillion business owners out there who will that pay me to bring them leads. Pay even more. more. If everything goes to shit, they're going like, hey. I mean, my comp on my deal started, yeah, it used to be like, hey, you know, pay 500 bucks a, a G right. or whatever to do it. You know, you start right. now. You got on your stripes, yeah, yeah, et cetera. Yeah, yeah. Now it's like, nah, you, you cut nah. me a six-figure check and nah. I'm taking half of the profits. Nah, yeah. People are happy to do it because if you control the yeah, customer, exactly. you control the yeah. business. Yeah. thousand percent. That's it. So like, it, it, it's just such a lucrative game. Yeah. And then because I'm the face of my ads, like the yeah. downside people say, oh, you can't sell your business. My business, the BGIM one in particular, because I have right. a, a handful. Right. But the objective of this company is to spit out cash and also to build brand. Mm -hmm. Period. The more I'm known and I can own the name marketing, right? right. The more speaking gigs, right? Mm -hmm. Here, here's 50K, come speak in London, everything's comped. Yeah, here's 50K, come speak in Arizona, da 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 da. Mm -hmm. Like, that for what? Sense. Because you're just known, right? When people have events, what's the trade? Is they want butts and seats. If they can get a known person to speak, et cetera. Yeah. This is why brand matters so much, right? Thousands. Why The Rock can slap his name on a tequila and be worth a billion bucks just yeah, like yeah. that. Why Kylie yeah. Jenner can slap her fucking name on this. And the brand, it's the only thing that matters. It's, you guys want to be invincible? You want to fucking make real cash? Right. Build a fucking brand. Mm. You know, Gordon Ramsay has completely Man. taken the category of food in restaurants. Right. Yeah. With shows, etc. If you, it's almost like, can you even really name another chef like that? Right. Maybe if nah. you're a super foodie, you can name like four. Yeah. But most folks there, nah, there isn't. Bro, yeah. wow, you really just said so. I can't think of another one. Yeah. So that's how I am with marketing. I'm like, I'm just gonna own the name. Yeah. yeah. To nah, the point where my funny. company name is, you know, some people say Billy Jean. You might know it's Billy Jean is, is marketing. marketing. Yeah. So every stage that I come on, people have to go. Billy Jean is marketing. Yeah. Every event, da 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 da. So now I have everybody edifying that this yeah. guy is marketing. Yeah. yeah. Love me, like me, hate me, don't fuck with me. You're but not you gonna deny me. that yeah. you know what I, you know what time it is yeah. when you come here, and that's yeah. the that's the game. Man, that's, that's a so fact, man. Yeah. That's all the cheat code, man. You drop back to back to back to back cheat code on you. That's crazy, man. So we talked about your. Biggest losses. I want to know what your biggest win is. I'm talking about the Moab of wins that you've had, man. Uh, I feel like, uh, I mean, the biggest 
I'll go corny and then nah, I'll give you some. Then I'll give you some. Then I'll give you some. But I'll, I'll give you the real one. Yeah. The real one is is that every single day I get to wake up with my friends and do what the fuck we want and make cool yeah. shit. Free us. Yeah. Right. Like I'm Paul. Like Paul back there. We known each other for right. fucking a decade. Oh, right. So like up. you know I got I, like next week next week I'm speaking in Arizona. It's like I'm just gonna go with my homies and hang out in Arizona yeah, and get no, paid to do it and create memories yeah. like. You can't That's the that. fucking yeah, win, or like yeah. I get to make these crazy videos. That's like this is fact. it. Like Daniel met our CFO is my best friend yeah. since I was four. Hector, Man. like one of my our CMO, he's one yeah. of my best friends. We worked together at 24 Hour Fitness back in the day. Went to high school together. Yeah. Like you know what I mean. Like even our team, I just known a lot of them a long time. Trust, yeah. People I trust, I fuck yeah. with, I create memories. We know each yeah. other's families. Like nah, that's, that's the win. Yeah, that's yeah. the win. Is the yeah. ultimate flexibility. Yeah. But I would be lying to you if I didn't think money mattered too. Yeah. Money, yeah. money is a win too. But let me be very clear and keep it 100. Yeah. It's way less down here. I think the mm -hmm. the part where money gets really excited is where you get out of um, fear mode and you're not mm -hmm. making yeah. every decision based on fear. Right, right, right. Once you go past that, money is is cool, but like it, yeah. it doesn't. Yeah. There's not. There's Once no predictable. Income, pretty there's much. not a huge yeah. fucking yeah. exciting part. Right. So I think the best thing was probably like. Um, uh, Probably about a year and a half ago, we ran this promo and we ended up doing like $2.2 million that month. But mm. the, the number wasn't that cool. What was cool, the number's cool. But what was cool? Hey, that's most what's <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Cool. But I, I would say what made it dope though is how. Mm. And it was a promo for like a, a big course that we launched for like all my courses, bundle, whatever. Right. So the trade was 31 bucks. You get like everything I've created this last decade. Mm -hmm. But to deliver it was just an email for me. Mm -hmm. But the customer was super excited because they got the fucking deal of a lifetime. Yeah. So I had extremely happy people getting case studies, how it changed their life, et cetera, mm -hmm. building brand, love it. But also, I'm literally looking at my phone and I'm like, that was 370 grand a day. And I Damn. honestly didn't do anything. So if you just got in the market within the last two years, I'd say one of the most powerful things that you can equip yourself with is a community, a community of like-minded people who are in the market day in, day out, looking at things that you might not be looking at. So make sure to tap the link below and join the Chico community today. We have stocks, Forex, futures, and crypto. Any market you can think of, we got a community for it. See you guys on the inside. Just give me the Chico. Mm. Facts. Yeah, <laughs> like, nah. like, oh, I shouldn't say I didn't do anything. Sense. It was decades, said, decades yeah, of hard work. Yeah, yeah but, but it was like, I was, like I remember, I, was, I know what you mean. Like, yeah. physical, like, like yeah. I was, I was at my penthouse, I just looked up and I was, my boy Vince stopped by because like my birthday. Yeah. And we're just sitting there, I'm like, bro, I just pulled up Stripe and I was like, that's today, yesterday was the same, tomorrow is crazy. Cool. Yeah. And it, it just, it broke my brain because I forever became obsessed from that moment right. of, how mm -hmm. I will lose money in a right. month to make a pivot within the company to do yeah. something that sets me up to buy my time. So I love my how. Anytime. Yeah. Like I love my how. Yeah. You know, I love my how right yeah. now. It's mostly focused on certification. Right. I enjoy teaching that right now. Look, it may change. Mm -hmm. But so I'm That's kind true. of optimizing my how I make my money before I do my. And so the how in this case, just so I, I can really understand, this was you're just sending an email. So yeah. your email list. But this was decades of building. A correct, massive, exactly. Massive yeah, it all came to that moment, yeah. but yes, correct. And so like, that's a, another critical component in all of this is, you know, making sure that you're investing in your own and owning your own audience, yeah. right? Because you didn't yeah. have to run a single ad for that yeah. because yeah. the people, the ads that you'd already ran from decades past or years mm -hmm. past led into this email yeah, it was list. a culmination event, and I think that's yeah. important too because like mm -hmm. people go, oh, you can sell a course. Selling courses are hard as fuck. Are if hard Anyone who's done, it's work. Nobody's like, buying nothing. It's, it's the biggest, oh my God, it's the biggest fucking like misconception about the online spaces. Yeah. Oh, you just make a course and make money? Go sell, I challenge anyone who says that, yeah. go sell a fucking course. That's fuck a off. fact. Yeah. Go fuck yourself if you think it's, yeah. it's just, it's not going to happen. Yeah. You know, so, because that's all about brand and trust, you yeah. know, and it yeah. takes a lot of time yeah. to build. So. Building brand and trust, 100%. Yeah. Now, what are your tips for people building brand and trust? Um, solve problems. Literally, if I can give you a worksheet, it, I would tell you to take out a blank piece of paper. I'd tell you number one is identify the audience, right? Mm -hmm. Who is it that you want to help and be specific? Is it like a first time home buyer who lives in San Diego right. that is a, you know, has a family of three, right? Get clear. And then just silly, take out a piece of paper and just say, what are the top 10 problems that they're facing? Mm -hmm. And then write out the answers. And you know what's crazy? That's the same model of how even our company kind of yielded That's because true. we yes. were literally given nothing but value for yes. literally, I'm talking 
Probably 16 hours a day for yes. probably two years. Well, or yeah, it like, yeah, almost yeah. feels like probably nine, ten months. But yeah, yeah. people, yeah. people were like, yeah. they they forced us. Forced us the only college. reason Cheat Code is what it is today mm-hmm. right. is because we didn't intend it as a business. Right. right. You know, we, we were just, you know, he made me join, putting me in his, tra- in his uh, DM group. Yeah. It was like, teach these people. Like, you know, yeah. I was like, dude, all right, fucking. Yeah. Just, you <laughs> I, know, I was like, like get too do. gifted. To not have and go. People, people yeah. were just like missing the information. It was mm-hmm. like the information wasn't like, you know, rocket science that people right. couldn't learn. So it just baffled my mind that people just didn't know and this wasn't yeah. public information. Real quick, sometimes people yeah. appreciate like, and that's another thing with teaching right. is like, you know, they say the mark of a genius is someone who can take complicated things and make them it's simple. simple. Exactly. It's not the other it's way around. So sometimes right. it's just being the translator. Yeah. I mean, think about how many different churches are out there, and some are successful and some not, right. because people like the way they translate it better. Yeah, exactly. It's all the same message. Literally. Everybody can go pick up a motherfucking Bible. Yeah. It ain't new. That's a fact. Like, but that's it just true. depends that's on how someone's that's communicating. That's the genius. Yeah, that's that genius. is the genius. The that's the genius. genius. I see what you're doing. You know what I mean? That's what you've been doing this whole episode. I'm sitting here like, damn. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, damn, all these things, I'm, I'm overthinking. I'm like, yeah, we got to do this and do that with the technical. And then he's like, yeah, you just uh, make an ad. Make my, it funny. My, my, uh, my, put my, it out there. Yo, <laughs> well, my, 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 Why did I think of that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my, 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 my best course like or training that we've ever created, right? Because we got 150,000 students in 75 countries yeah. now. 75 countries. Yeah, my it's goodness. crazy. So the best thing that we ever did, though, is, you know, I just said, you know what? Like, even that bundle when we, like, Educate a whole bunch of people. It's right. so much stuff. You just get people who don't log in log right. in because they feel overwhelmed. Right. So I said, okay, I'm gonna do something crazy. I'm gonna go 30 days and I'm just gonna send you one video for five minutes with one thing to do. As far as user rate and completion, it changed everything. Yeah. Everything. Right. You know, and we just start getting so many micro wins, yeah. like of oh, this happened. And you know, the the per like the true the true way to build a brand, y'all, yeah. is like so I gave the example a moment ago. I said, mm-hmm. Okay, let me show you how to use your cell phone yeah. better. Like Flash. you appreciate it, you like me. Right. But that's not going to change your life, Mm-mm. right? Mm-mm. So take someone like Tony Robbins, the reason why he has massive friend. Yeah. Because instead of you bringing your cell phone, he goes, I'm going to help your marriage. Yeah. I'm going to help your bank account. I'm going to prevent you from committing suicide. Right. I'm going to teach you how to love people better. I'm going to da You know, the bigger the problem yeah, that you exactly. solve, yeah. the more connection that you Impact. have. Yeah. So <clears throat> for me, I'm obsessed about that. It's like, if I can really get someone financially free, mm-hmm forever they will rock with me, Thousands. right? So that's what we say internally is, okay, what do we got to do to earn their business for life? And it's very simple is win. Get people's businesses to win mm. and they will forever rock with us. Right, a thousand percent. Yeah. That's powerful, bro. Yeah, yeah man, powerful. that's really, that's a that's a cheat code in its own. Yeah. It's just, it's like I've thought about anybody that's ever helped me attain, like I always give credit to Francis, like even when we're having our conversation when he, when he uh, went out for a second, uh, <laughs> I was like, yeah, you know, you got me in the financial market and forever in my mind, that's like, you know, my brain is locked in, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And everybody in our community, for for a matter of fact, yeah. like anybody that we've impacted, you know, that we even meet, and to us, it's like, you know, okay. we're just doing our daily bread, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But like yeah. anybody that we've impacted, they come up to us, any event, whatever, they're like, hey, like, you know, changed you've had, that you changed my life, like, like people, literally. People mm-hmm. And it's like, man, it's yeah. crazy, man. But yeah, yeah. No, that's right on. Hit on it, man. Yeah. Hit on it a lot, man. All right, well, look, I... I, I Man, I've definitely learned a lot over the whole time. This entire thing, yeah, a, lot, yeah, a yeah. ton of value. Yeah. I mean, you know, I think it's crazy because, like you said, you kind of reframed the structure of like, you know, how I even think about marketing just through yeah. this conversation because like a lot of things are just a lot more simple than we make them. You know, yes. a lot of times we overcomplicate. Of course, well, it's t- usually like if uh, this is a good tip for everybody, it's like if you're finding yourself really having to like sell Mm -hmm. and like have these crazy messages to get someone to buy, Mm -hmm. usually your offer is just not that good. Right. And there's no faster way. It's actually the biggest note for everybody. Oh man. There's there's no faster way to scale and grow a business than have an offer that just crushes. And what I mean by that is think of what Uber's offer is. All of us can take out our phone right now, press a button, and a motherfucker in a black SUV in a suit will come and pull us up for $20. Yeah. That crazy. sounds like a billion dollar offer. Hence yeah. them being worth multiple billions, billions. right? Or you take Amazon. Right. Hey, nigga, you can click a button, button. and we will bring you whatever the Every, fuck you want to your house. Anywhere you are. Yeah. In hours. In hours. That sounds Man. like you'd be the richest company in the world, 
right? Like, and yeah. so I just challenge yeah. everybody to assess their own offers, right. right? And like, even in like the education space, I'm extremely passionate about it. I know you guys are passionate yeah. about it, Thousands. but you never forget that offer will only be so viable because you sell work. Right. Right. And work right. people are allergic to, right? right. Like yeah. learning. Remember, let's not front. Mm-hmm. Most people in school, we avoided learning. Yeah. I want to skip class. I'm not yeah. going to this. I want to cheat on this. Da, yeah. da, 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 which I'm not condoning. Yeah, um, no. But like we we do all of but those things. legally. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. This this kind of cheating is okay. Yeah, this, kind this, of, this is gay. Is the, not the other the one. Yes. Yeah, you need. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I, I'm just like, you know, everyone has to think about how can you frame what you do mm-hmm. to increase the desire. And then when you do that, you don't need crazy marketing right? because people just fucking want it. Right. Like think about a drone. Right. Like if you're like a photographer or right. a videographer, I people are like, hey, you can make this hour. shit fly. Yeah. yeah. You're like, oh my God, I want it. How much yeah. does it cost? And right. so just think creatively, how can you make your offer sexier mm-hmm. and you will have to do less effort on the marketing and sales side. Yeah. yeah. It's a banger. Hey. All right, last thing I want to kind of leave with, man, yeah. because I think this is the most the, the most fun shit. I want to know some of the most creative campaigns that you've done. Outside of the, yeah. the, the nothing campaign, I think that was fucking funny. Yeah. But I know there's probably a bunch of others we probably never heard yeah. of, we've never yeah. seen. So what are some so, of those? I, you know, I, I try and write trends, right? So, like, a, a big one that we did that, like, just went crazy was yeah. this uh, Wolf of Wall Street okay. uh, parody that we did. Oh, and, like, man. we'll send you guys the clip so you can roll it yeah. for everybody. Definitely. But, like... It just went nuts. It was shared. It was controversial because I start off the ad. I always think about those five, first five seconds. So my, my old CMO, it's literally imagine a bunch of guys in the suits and girls in the suits. Right. And I fucking grab her hair to the camera and I go. Real quick. You had a CMO? Some entrepreneur. Of course. <laughs> you got a CMO? Yeah. Is marketing. Absolutely. I'll tell you, remind me to circle back to that in a second. Yeah. Right. But uh, I grab her hair and I go, $25,000 to let me shave her head. And, like, it's just, like, you just have well, to watch it. Yeah, but it was nah. these first five seconds, it goes crazy. Oh, but, like, man. we've done everything from, like, dressing as Oompa Loompas to, like, Roman soldiers, <laughs> part, to, like, very deep, Spark. dark dark shit, <laughs> yeah. to, like, talking about depression and suicide and letting yeah. people go. Like, just any cool stories oh, that we can tell. Yeah. Funny stuff. Yeah. Like, I mean, just, it's... The entire spectrum. An entire spectrum, yeah. you know. Um, yeah. But, you know, to, to forgive everybody hope, like, I, I almost don't like talking about those things because then people go, why well, can't I advertise because I'm not that? So you guys know, our most profitable mm-hmm. ads are like this. Hey, what's up? It's Billy Jean. And if you need marketing, come. Like, it's the simple ones. Mm-hmm. My message wouldn't be exactly be that. Yeah. But, um, but um, it's very simple. Single yeah. camera, probably shitty lighting. Right. Right. <laughs> um, audio is good. Yeah. Make sure they can hear it. Never have bad yeah. audio. Yeah. But like, oh man, that's, that's like the, almost all the time they be our high production ones. However, yeah. building brand. It's crazy. It goes long oh my God. Yeah. yeah. You know, cause like Stable. if I'm out on the street, people are like, oh, I saw this one thing. Yeah. And they mentioned the higher production yeah. ones. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like the Super Bowl ads. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Thousands exactly. Percent. So, you know, you got to combo the two. And so one thing that I want to encourage everybody watching to do is everybody wants to talk about investing into stocks, cryptos, right, right. NFTs, et cetera. Yeah. But everybody forgets about the biggest one that buys you an insane amount of time, which is investing into people. Yep. That's the biggest missed Man. investment that everybody does because right. it is scary because humans are variables. They get right. bad moods and things like that. You can yeah, trust, man. et cetera. But buying time, if you really meet, like it's when you meet a CEO and like, all that motherfucker does is golf. Yep. And then you're like, well, his company has blank and X amount of people. They right. bought back their time. Yeah. You know what's you know? crazy? If somebody were to tell you that you were going to expire at X date and they told you, hey, this is how much you can buy time for, you would literally give them every single day. You suck a dick. Yeah. <laughs> I just testing you, bro. (laughs) (laughs) Some people do what they do. Don't put it on me. I'm just saying. How much would it be? To time, what would you do to get your time back? I don't know. I don't know. Everybody's different. Everybody's different. Everybody puts some time and money. I'm just saying what you want to do. I don't know. I don't know what you guys would do. It's time. This guy just came out so much. I had to sneak one in. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, man. You're hey, eight. So that's how time we wrap. Is invaluable. That's the cheat code right there. Yeah, that was that was what I was trying to say. Yeah. Yeah. That's what he was trying to say. But would y'all do it? You know yeah, what I mean? Bro. Like <laughs> Hey, don't comment below. This one. <laughs> hey, whatever you do, don't comment below for this one. Oh man. God damn. No, nah, dude, you were fucking Jeez, hilarious, man. man. Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, we, we, we curveball, definitely got to do this more often, man. Yeah, yeah for sure, bro. Really All right, Billy, man. 
man, listen. All right, so we wrapped up. I think you know this, we, we got a lot. <laughs> Fuck it now. We got a lot, man. We got, we got a lot from Billy, man. All, all the way through and through. Uh, appreciate you, obviously. It's a shame. Yo, hey, and y'all keep doing what you're doing, too. Like, oh, you know, especially man, as, like, as black males, like, yeah. you know, we got a duty to, Bro, we, to, we, to do it. Percent, we can't stop, won't stop, man. We can't stop, won't stop, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, going straight to the top. We got some Let's special things, man. Yeah. Hey, and uh, undisclosed, but there's more special things on the way. Oh, okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? Man. Yeah. Man. Like, I'll, Billy, I'll Billy doesn't know quick. Feels like he doesn't know. I can feel it in my spirit. All right, all right. You guys just haven't felt it yet. You don't know, but it'll come. All right, all right. Let's do it. Sounds good. Here first. Sounds good, man. man. All right, look, man, it's shameless plug time, though, man. I want, I want to know where can people fuck with Billy Jean, man? Where can they find Billy Jean's stuff? Where can Usually they find you don't have to find him. He'll find yeah, I'll find you. you. Yeah, I was going to say. Usually you don't have to find you. He'll find you. But, hey, where can you he know, find you, though? I mean, first thing I tell you is you guys should absolutely all buy my shit. Make no mistake about it. Absolutely. But I, 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 absolutely. I mean, just very clearly. Like, you'll yeah. make more money as a result. Yeah. Not a claim from my attorneys. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I, I, what, I, what I will say is, like, for anybody in particular who's like, like, I, I mean, honestly, like, we'll probably just give you courses, like, hit us up, right. like, I'll just send you some shit. Right. But for anybody who wants to do this as a career, like, mm -hmm. as a marketer, and you're really passionate about it, and you love all the marketing shit, right. um, you know, I think you can go to, like, learnfrombilly.com or something like that and mm -hmm. apply to get certified. Yeah. And uh, that's what I do recommend everybody doing. Um, yeah. yeah. Like, even if, like, if you're managing, a lot of people are like, hey, I'm not going to do the marketing, right. but you want to hire a marketer. But like, right. if you don't know marketing, how are you going to hire somebody and manage the Facts. Shit? So like, you know what I mean? Like, so it's like everyone. Yeah. yeah, and I just tell everybody, they're like, well, what if I don't know what I want to market? I mean, that's the point. It's like, no matter which direction you go, though, you will want to advertise something. Yeah. Non-profit, a cause, that products. So there's, there's not a single person here who's not going to benefit from mastering advertising. So Literally. that is my recommendation to you. All right, man. That's Learn from Billy.com. I'll, and there's someone on my team. Let's make sure that we have that domain ready because I don't even know what the fuck oh, it is. Shit. <laughs> this was like we got, we have so many. We got like a thousand domains. I'm like, yeah, yeah learn yeah, from yeah. Billy. We'll make learn sure it's good. Billy, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, that's how we're doing, man. All right, man. Learnfrombilly.com, man. You guys got a bunch of cheat codes. We got to recap the cheat codes. All of the packs come with the games. Give me the cheat code. I'm going to kick off a couple that I heard. You can kick off the next ones, man. Yep. Uh, what first she called what I heard was be funny as shit. Yeah, I mean, man. you know, definitely. Or be, be, true, be true to yourself, right? First yeah. Right, but also not just funny, but be emotional, right? Like, yeah. be vulnerable. Be all special. Share your cry, your yeah. pain. Be it's vulnerable. Somebody's crying yes. or somebody's laughing their yes, ass Yes, exactly. Yeah. But here's what they're not doing. They're not just... Nah, nah. You ain't gonna make something like that, yeah. We're not neutral. Mm, we're not neutral. Other. You ain't neutral. Yeah. So, so tap into emotions. Yep. You know, you gotta tap into your own emotions to do that, right? Yeah, sure. First and foremost. Um, make sure that you, you know, definitely just, just advertise it as a whole, right? The yes. thing is part of the, the keys to business, part of the cheap five, business. A day. Whatever yep. it is, you gotta be making sure you're running ads, making sure you're, you're Pushing your way into the, your audience, you right. know, it doesn't always just have to be organic. It doesn't mm -hmm. just have to be uh, social posts, but yeah. making sure that you're running ads in the fucking first place and make it a greatest hit. Like, like all I'm yeah. saying, like simplest win that everyone can do here is if you had something to do really well organically, right. put five to ten bucks a day on it to keep the conversation going. That's 100%. it. If that's all you do, you will make more money as a result. Hundred percent. That's massive. So two big ones, man. You know. Emotional ads and pushing ads in the first place. Yes. And as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, gotta be doing it. And I think a, a third one also is just building an audience, right? Yeah. Just in general, even if you're not the tech, quote unquote an entrepreneur, you don't technically have a business to sell, whatever it is, building an audience regardless because you will need an audience to do anything else. It could be promoting your kids, uh, yeah. football, you know, fundraiser. Or, yeah, yeah. Or Girl Scout cookies. Girl Scout cookies. Yeah, yeah. 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 Something. Got some recently, yeah. yeah. All right. So those are three big ones, man. What you got? Shit, what I got is always like for people that are building like, you know, landing pages because it resonated so much with me because that's something that we're currently doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Going through your landing page process and making sure if you're going through these processes and you're like, you know, proposing, you know, selling, 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 and none of it applies to or appeals to ethos as far as humor mm -hmm. or like, you know, a direct emotion that somebody can like, have a memory connected to it. Yes. 
restructure the and, whole and thing. And by the way, that's yeah. why corporate struggles on social so much. Yeah, yeah. It's corporate struggles because they're trying to do the right. corporate thing and it doesn't work exactly. for the medium. Nope. There's, there's like, no entertainment. And the funny no thing emotion. is, the moment they do, yeah. it goes viral. Like, goes when, viral. like Wendy's yeah. on Twitter, mm-hmm. and they Freaking start slim being yeah. funny. They everywhere yes. on that. Yeah. Yeah. Once yeah. they start being funny and shit. And like it's that. crazy because it works super well and then they just don't do it again. And they don't do it again. Yeah. They think it's a one-off thing. So yeah, and that's another cheat code. If you find something that's a viral moment, or you happen to be on something like a, a, a an interview that goes viral that makes you a bunch of money. Make sure to make sure that interview is running you running ads directly to yep. the interview for years and decades to come. Yep. When it's fixed, don't try to fix what's uh, what's not broken or what, what's the same. Yeah, don't, don't fix what's not broken. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, don't fix it if it ain't broken. Exactly. Don't fix it if it ain't broken. Wilka, you you also yeah. said that you said for decades, and I want people to start thinking about that. Right. Whenever they think about investments, right. they go like, you know, I'm investing in real estate right. and I'm going to get yeah. returns for years. Bonds, Guys, that. you can get the same type of returns even better with less upfront from video ads. Yeah. Like everybody, yeah. like yeah. And you, people invest into real estate. I'm like, yeah. well, I invest in the videos. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. It cost me a fraction. I can do it in 60 seconds yeah. and get paid even more. Yeah. Even more. Yeah. Even if you're getting a one-to-one return yeah. sometimes. Oh, I mean, listen, oh, man. Uh, sometimes ad, real estate doesn't even seem as sexy as it used to at one point. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, I'm, I mean, I'm for other reasons right. but let's just say I mean anything when I look at uh, anytime I'm about to put money into something right. and get some type of return I'm like damn I could put a, that could put that same money into ads and get that back in like you know yeah. and, uh, 2x 1.2 1.4 whatever it is yep. uh, return on ad spend it's like damn why do I want to spend that on well, that yeah. I'm like, I might not even, especially yeah. e-commerce brands you got a product that's in demand currently yeah. man yeah. Like, yeah, exactly. like Clorox during the pandemic etc right. like it's like dude you can make you literally 100x right. your money alright man right. anyways so those are yeah, because we gonna keep the interview. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but keep Billy here this whole so. time. All right, man. Right. Listen, those are the cheat codes we got for y'all. Yeah. You know, as far as a recap, um, make sure that you guys you know like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit, yeah. and make sure you always tell a friend to tell, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a motherfucking friend, man. See you guys later. All right, man.